Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to TWGP. Uh, this is a golden gap here for today. This rated very well. Uh, this rated over 20 points. I think it was 21. I have to go back and look at my sheet. A beautiful chart here. Look at this. This is like a picture. Like if I drew something that I thought was perfect, this is what it would look like. Look, this is a really nice look to it here. So I saw this very early this morning and liked it a lot. I think there was some kind of news out on this. I think that's what it was about here that made this. And you can see the straight line it made down from the open. This is a 15 minute chart, 9.30, 9.45, 10 o'clock, 10.15. Look at that, it even made a new low into the afternoon. And that's rare to happen. It's only a couple pennies since the 10 o'clock low, but it's just still traded down. This was an afternoon short. You could have shorted this again here in the afternoon. Look, you could have shorted this again in the afternoon. I actually did call this as a, a secondary trade. It just it could have gone down to 250. I think this does get to 250. I think it gets to 250 tomorrow if it doesn't get down there tomorrow. So here was the uh, call that I made in this. No, it was back here. It was back here. It was. This isn't even late, really. Um, I just really thought this might be done at this point here. But it based and based and based in the one minute chart. And I call this as a trade 95 by 302. Look what it did. It ran down 30 cents. It's crazy. It was more than 30 cents. It's more than 30 cents from that stop. Look at that thing. Uh, and then over here was the other play that you very well could have done, and it behaved and never went over the number. I mean, this never went over 90 pretty much all afternoon. This is a five minute chart, and you can see here. So this could have gotten to 250, could have gotten to 225. And, and why do you short this? Why would you do this? Weakness. And even the market rallied huge in the afternoon, and this thing couldn't get a lift or a breath to save its life. It broke a new low in the afternoon when the market was rallying over the high of the day. Huge on the minutes announcement. So this is, this is a great chart. So let's go over the morning. Let's go back here. Today is the 18th. Look at this. Uh, so here it is here. You could have been very, very, very aggressive on this when it didn't get over 350. You, you could have done that. You, you literally could have done that. Um, or you just wait here till it breaks right here and then the stops over the number. This rolled over here and you could have even taken more. And guess what? Lower the stop over the number and then let it ride on down here. And, and really this is the exit except for the fact that like I said, I mean, uh, to my surprise, <laughs> <laughs> broke three dollars by thirty cents. You know, of course, I don't know why I say that. Nothing surprises me anymore. When a gap works great and it wants to go, it breaks. It breaks. It breaks and breaks and goes to the dream target. This is a dream target. In this today, I I didn't have this number written down anywhere, nowhere. And here was the base breakdown in here. Here's the base breakdown in here that you think it can't possibly get any lower, but yet it does and rolls over. So beautiful reentry here. And then this is after the morning move. Although after this morning move, it'd, it'd be hard to take anything else, but it worked. And you can have a money manager plan where you play the morning in something, get out of half and ride the rest down, keep lowering the stop. You can play the morning playing something, get out of the whole thing, look for a second setup, and if you never get it, then you're done for the day. I mean, there's so many different ways to play these things. So many, so many, so many. But you'd never stay in the whole play to get this all down here unless you really were lowering your stop and lowering your stop and lowering your stop and lowering your stop. I mean, here actually, really, lowering your stop was only a couple of pennies here because if it had gone over 307, you could have been out after this bar happened here. You'd have to wait. I would be only giving back seven cents. So you could have actually stayed in this all the whole time because it never rallied. Look, this is a one minute chart. This isn't even a 15 minute or a five minute or a two minute. This is a one minute chart. Let's count how many. How many green bars was in this one minute chart in the first hour of the day? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So for the first hour of the day, in sixty bars. There were 13 of them were green. 
That's almost unheard of. <laughs> Look at that. This is a beautiful, beautiful bearishness. Beautiful bearish chart. I mean, this this chart is is a keeper here. This chart is a chart that everybody should snag it and study and watch and look at this. So this is lower. I'll watch it tomorrow. You know, we'll see what it does. But this could even gap down here overnight and gap down right to 250. I wouldn't be surprised. This is a really nice bearish golden gap in TWGP. Beautiful chart. Amazing on every single level. Very bearish. Bearish even this afternoon when the market rallied. This never gave it up. Could have been in this all day to the close. It's not, that's not always the case with gaps. A lot of times they make the low by 10 o'clock, 10, 15. But in reference to this TWGP, it made a new low here on the chart for the day into the close. And this is definitely lower tomorrow. Really nice stock to short. Uh, this is TWG, TWGP, Golden Gap. If you have any questions about how to trade gaps, feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.